in this video, we are adding another piece to the collection in the garage. Gas powered beasts that drive around the yard. So we are getting another golf cart. You've seen a couple on the channel, uh, the black one, the green one, and now a reddish maroon one. Uh, I can't wait for this. This is the first gas powered golf cart that I've ever owned. And I was just thinking I could have used the profits from the first two to pay for this one. It's $2,200. I think it could go for somewhere in the threes. I'm shooting to make a thousand dollars profit on it. Uh, that's the goal anyway. And it's not too far away, about 20 minutes. So I have to grab the hitch, throw it on the truck right out front, load up the trailer and skedaddle. So we got the keys, we got the cash and we are headed out. Give her a little start. No problem. We'll get to it. So headed out in route. It's about 20 minutes away. So I was really shooting for two grand on this thing. Uh, he had it posted at 28, as you can see here. Um, and then I offered him two. He countered at 23. And he said, since you like the two so much, how about we do 22? And I said, you know what? I'll come check her out. Hopefully we can get it down to the two mark. Probably knows the game and knows the ploy. But I'm going to be there with cash in hand. I got 22. I'm buying it pretty much regardless as long as it runs well. I hate mechanical issues. Um, so as long as it's just cosmetic, I'll be taking her home. A little lake cart, it appears. aggressive with it. Oh well. Anyway, we got the uh, golfie. So we got her bagged. We we're on the way. I just wanted to double check the straps and the pin to ensure that that was in. Anyway, here's the golfie. Uh, the new golfie. I guess it can't be called golfie because that was the green one. Um, anyway, we are headed home. Should be an easy ride. My only concern is that this thing just flies off. Uh, but I'm not gonna rage too hard, luckily. Um, should be good, should be easy. The thing rides really well. So um, it'll be a fun project. It needs more paint work than I expected, uh, but I knew that it needed paint work anyway. It's just gonna be a really hard color to match. Uh, that's the only concern. So for waiting, coming through with the golfie. With a golfie. Made her home. Safe, sound, easy, way too easy. Um, so I'm going to go inside, use the restroom, probably grab a little lunch, uh, and then unload this thing, uh, bring it out here, give you a quick tour, and then embark onto the detail, and then the masking, and then the priming and painting, and all the fun stuff to make it worth more. So we got the freaking Feast of Kings right here. Stoked on it. Gonna smash this and then get out to the golfie. All right, well fed, feeling better, and ready to get this beast unloaded. Should be pretty easy. Uh, just gotta take the straps off, drop the trailer back, good to go. Right, check this out here is the golfie so uh we have a little imperfection there a little tear there lots of dirt there uh what else forward reverse choke 
missing piece there, some miscellaneous bolts there, some gross diamond plate pedals. Um, this is all missing. It needs finished and painted. Same with back there. That's where the upside exists. Same with back here. And there's this like crazy, I don't know if you can see it. It's absolutely crazy flake in the paint that I don't think I'm going to be able to match. Um, a little tear there, unfortunately. Missing paint up here, missing paint here. I'm going to take this off, get that cleaned up. Missing paint on the front, 65, right there. Um, anyway, need to, uh, need to get this thing looking better. That's the goal, that's the objective. So I just used this uh, little slicing tool to cut out a small plastic piece for right here and then drilled it in so we no longer have the hole here. Does it look the best? No. Uh, is it precision cut to fit? No. But it blocks off the hole and looks better. Hi. So I have the shop cat now. Oh, hello. Anyway, I have the shop cat now. That's what's in the background. I got all this sanded, so that's smooth, that's smooth. This is all smooth. This is all smooth. This is smooth. This is smooth. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's super duper duper windy outside. So that's why we are working in the barn with the shop cat. Hello. Ah, do I keep you? Do I not? I don't know. Anyway. Um, Filled this with a little bit of Bondo. Bondo. Um, filled that, got that primed. Got the mask around here and get this primed as well. shot that whole front and then realized, you know what? We're gonna make all of this congruent. So I didn't hit this middle and I didn't really hit the front too much, uh, but I got the rest of it. Okay, so Shop Cat likes the golfy. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's older, it's whatever. I'm not gonna spend too much time detailing it. I'm not gonna spend too much time um, on the rest of it. I am gonna polish these wheels up and some tire shine just so they look a little bit better. Um, hit this with some tire shine as well. Black back to life. So one more thing I'm gonna do really quick. We already have this black Rhino storage um, black accenting on the cart itself. So I'm gonna hit this with some truck bed coating to uh, make this out. So the last thing we have to do uh, now that everything else is done, the wheels are shined up, this thing looks a lot better, is uh, affix this up. Because in the picture it was sitting down here um, and it's, it's a lot more functional, it's a lot better up top. So I'm assuming this just goes somewhere like this and then we can drill through into this grody back. So that's the plan. So I got the golf cart wrapped up and finished. Here are the photos of how it turned out. These are what I used to list it, to sell it for a profit. And fun fact, this is what it looks like now. I got a text from the new owner who came up in a purple Jeep who was obsessed 
with purple and they said, you know what, we're gonna make this uh, golf cart to match our Jeep. We're gonna take it to the campsite. It's gonna be the fun thing around there. And we were looking specifically for a cheaper gas one uh, that we could bomb around in because the electric out there isn't the best and it may not have the power if it's electric uh, to do as much riding as we want. So they wanted specifically that gas one. They didn't care if it was the newest, hottest, whatever, because they wanted to build it their way. They just wanted the good base, the good platform. So all of my work was already in vain anyway. But uh, the marketing did help itself for over a thousand dollar profit. I'm very happy with the turnout. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, drop a comment down below telling me what you thought. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I don't only do golf carts here. Uh, the name of the game is making automotive money. So there are a lot of fun, cool supercars, trucks, diesels, and golf carts as well. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.